These are the best smelling colors that Abercrombie could have possibly made. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do kind of like a vintage classic review on this 1892 red and this Abercrombie & Fitch 1892 yellow. Now, these were created during the famous Mike Jeffries era. Now, if you're not familiar with Abercrombie & Fitch, most of the people who like Abercrombie & Fitch liked things during the Mike Jeffries era. He left around 2014. These were created, I believe, in 2011. And most of the time, Abercrombie, they don't release a lot of different stuff at once, especially with fragrances. You know, they'll release one and that's kind of it. They'll, they'll try to make like a few really good fragrances with their own kind of DNAs. These, I don't know if they were trying to take over the colored game, like, you know, like the Polos or the Lacrosse, any of these other companies that do the colored uh, kind of smells. I don't really know. These were only sold at Abercrombie and they were only around for about a year. They had four different colors, uh, red, yellow, green and blue. I have actually got samples of 1892 blue and 1892 green. Unfortunately, I cannot find them. There was this great guy on eBay who would sell you like one ounce samples of all through all four of these. From what I remember about um, blue and green, I would say green might have been my favorite. Green was very, very likable. Um, same with blue. Blue was very, very likable. It actually wasn't called blue. It was called 1892 Colbats. What you would expect from an Abercrombie blue style fragrance. I actually think of all the fragrances that the 1892 Colbats is probably the most similar to fragrances that we've smelled nowadays. So online they say that red has notes of bergamot, ivy, sage, and sandalwood. To me, what I smell with this red is a very similar style red to something like the polar reds but a hundred percent its own style smell hundred percent its own style DNA the polo reds were a little bit clubby a little bit sweet or actually very sweet this one is a little bit more complex and a little more Abercrombie I smell definitely cranberry now cranberry is what gives it its red smell I do think that polo red and stuff they use like cranberry and coffee to give that red style smell so I definitely smell cranberry it's definitely creamy it almost reminds me a little bit of of black excess where it was kind of like red spicy and creamy at the same time there is a, sl a slight creamy element and then also I'm actually not a big fan of peach but I actually smell peach in the top notes if you've ever smelled a fragrance that it doesn't smell lemony or citrusy but it has like a lemon in the top note a great example is the original fierce the original fierce isn't a lemon fragrance however if you smell the classic vintage fierce it has a little bit of lemon in the top to kind of balance it out this one actually has a little bit of in my opinion peach on the top it's either like peach or apricot it's very very different and usually for some reason I don't really like peach but I do like it in here and then it is also soapy and spicy soapy in a good way um, this reminds me of just a 100% Abercrombie style guy somebody who's really young really fit really clean cut wearing a polo shirt especially a red polo shirt it's soapy in all the good ways yellow might be the most unique abercrombie and fitch fragrance that i've ever smelled it is extremely hard to pin down i've even seen somebody on fragrantica there's not that many people who have reviewed these but i have seen somebody on fragrantica saying that they've smelled this a bunch of times and they really just can't pin it down and i 100 percent agree i do think that because it is harder to pin down it technically would be synthetic but this fragrance is so 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 likable and i would almost challenge anybody in the fragrance community to pick a bottle of this up i think this one's about 40 dollars online new which is unbelievable i highly recommend picking one of these up if you're interested just because this has been discontinued for 10 years and it's 40 to 45 dollars online new which is insane if you want to get this one new i think this is about 90 dollars i'd almost challenge anybody to get this and tell me what you think about it because i just absolutely cannot pin down what this fragrance smells like online i think that they say this has like a cypress kind of a smell to it i do smell something that could be interpreted as cypress but the main note that I get with this is melon and I actually really really do enjoy fragrances that include melon almost any time that melon is included in the fragrance 
it just smells better. A couple uh, fragrances that come to mind is the Fierce Intense, the newer one I spilled a little bit of melon. And then also Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct uses melon in a specific way. So I actually really, really do enjoy this one, guys. It's very, very good, very hard to pin down, but just so Abercrombie. And then also I just wanna say, Online, I was looking at Fragrantica when these would came out, and I don't know if they're missing a couple fragrances, but um, the only male fragrances that have come out before these two fragrances are Woods, Fierce, Ezra Fitch, Cologne 41, and Colden. So technically this is, all of these were like the number six through 10 on Abercrombie's men's fragrances. So these were in the first 10 fragrances created by Mike Jeffries for men and for Abercrombie. But I felt that they had come out with a lot of fragrances up until this point because I remember when they came out with these fragrances, I wanted to try them so much, but they were so expensive and I didn't know which ones to get. So these are one of their more original scents, although I kind of felt that these came later on. Let's jump into the pros of these fragrances. The pros is, they have a very, very classic Abercrombie and Fitch vibe to them. And more of the new Abercrombie fragrances, what they do is, in my opinion, they find some sort of popular DNA and they put a little Abercrombie tint on it. And although I do like that because it is very popular kind of smell, and then it also gives you the Abercrombie kind of DNA that you're looking for, it just isn't nowhere near as impressive as something like this because these seem like Abercrombie had a specific vision in mind about what they wanted and they wanted to be different and it almost seems like Mike Jeffries would meticulously smell these and wait to approve them because they are as Abercrombie as you could possibly get for being yellow and red. I'm not the biggest fan of fragrances based after colors, but I am a big fan of Abercrombie and these are literally like the perfect Abercrombie yellow and the perfect Abercrombie red in my opinion. They are extremely likable while being very, very different at the same time. Again, this one, this is probably the most unique fragrance that I've ever smelled from Abercrombie and Fitch. The only note that I can pick up from it is melon. Somebody said on Fragrantica that the yellow reminds him of in a very exotic kind of soap. I could kind of see that. It's a very clean vibe. It's just so, so different but likable at the same time. I gotta say that I really appreciate for how outside the box these are but how likable they are at the same time. The cons is the projection. Now, I do not know if these were stored properly. These are 10 year old fragrances. So if these have been sitting in someone's garage in the heat, I don't know. This one is definitely a lot lighter projection than the red. The red I actually bought used. I forget how much came with it when I first bought it, but I think it was about halfway. The yellow I've had uh, the entire time, so I've actually sprayed all of that. But it also seems like this one wasn't stored as well as this one. It's hard to describe. The red is definitely more full, but there's just something about it to where I feel like it's been in the sun or I feel like it's not as strong as it would be right outside the box. But again, I bought the red used. I'm kind of on the fence of whether I like or dislike these fragrances because I love what Abercrombie does, especially the classic Abercrombie and Fitch fragrances. These were created under that. I do think that they are around as good as the, some of the best Abercrombie and Fitch fragrances as you could get. But at the same time, it was just kind of weird when Abercrombie has five men's fragrances and then all of a sudden they come out with four right at the same time. And I kind of think that people didn't even know how to take that. Well, I've talked to people who have purchased these back in the day, and I've had people actually say that they thought it was one smell and it just came in different colors. People who buy Abercrombie, I don't really think of them as buying like tons and tons of fragrances. If they made one single release, it probably would have been maybe better than these. But at the same time, I really, really do enjoy these and it would be nice to see them pop in, you know, like the Legacy Collection with Abercrombie, it would be nice to see those popped in. It would be nice to get some access to these. I do think something like, woods or like fierce or like colden is a little bit more well-rounded and if you could think of the best fragrances ever they don't usually have a color next to them like baccarat rouge 540 it's not called like cloud or see-through you know dior sauvage isn't called orange you know fierce isn't called like platinum whatever you know what i mean so most of the time i like a fragrance that has its own character not just red 
blue you know what i mean but at the same time that being said i know i'm kind of contradicting myself these are the best smelling colors that abercrombie could have possibly made and i do like the time period that they were created because you know the closer that mike jeffries got to being out i do think that that it was already going downhill a little bit by then so this was 2011 so so good i would give both of this both of them the smell rating of an 8 to an 8.5 i do think they are very very good and just because they are that unique and and they do a lot of extra stuff that i haven't really smelled before i'm kind of on the fence between an 8 and an 8.5 they are very good um likability i would go with yellow is probably a nine and red probably an 8.5 abercrombie is extremely likable but there's just something i think a little bit more easy to like on this one this one is a lot lighter as well so i do think that lighter scents usually are a little bit easier to like although i do think this is fantastic and anybody who likes red style fragrances or wears a lot of red will greatly enjoy this and it's actually sad that we can't see this um, compare it against the other reds in the fragrance game because I actually really really do like this Abercrombie is my kind of style and I would probably prefer this to the other reds and then longevity and projection again these are 10 year old fragrances that could not have that maybe were not stored correctly so red I would give longevity and projection of about a 6.5 now again I do feel like the normal version of this that was kept up in a good condition I don't know if this was kept in a bad condition but I feel like if this was red was kept in a good condition it might bump up to about a 7 to a 7.5 because it is more full and I kind of have a feeling that it got weaker somehow and then yellow I'm gonna have to be honest I'm gonna have to give this one a five and I don't know if this is the kind of smell that it is or if it has been you know sitting in a garage for a couple of years but yellow is very 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 light extremely light yellow is it's such a weird fragrance because I don't really know any other colors of yellow I don't know anybody who oh I want to wear a yellow yellow is my favorite color or you know I want to I want a yellow fragrance usually when it goes to colors of fragrances it's black blue or yellow um, Abercrombie came out with the blue as in Colbat and I don't know if you know classic Abercrombie and Fitch but I do and classic Abercrombie and Fitch they would not wear any black at all so that makes sense why there isn't an a &F black anyways guys this whole collection is very very good if I end up getting the blue and the green and samples again I will test them again but let me know what you thought of these fragrances I really like the idea of these I almost would have been interested to see if Abercrombie like um, would sell these in a group like if you bought a whole yellow set you get the yellow or you bought a whole red set you get the red or they were to have these in like one ounce bottles and say for like a hundred dollars you get a one ounce of each one I just think that the way that Abercrombie sells and markets it was difficult for them to maximize all four of these fragrances but I just absolutely enjoyed this blast from the past so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching the video thank you guys so so much you guys are the best let me know what Abercrombie fragrances I should review next. Let me know what fragrances you want me to review next. And let me know if you've tried ANF 1892, the colors, because I'm actually really enjoying this blast from the past. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching the video, guys. You guys are the best. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. somebody online said that they kind of this kind of smells like a like a somebody said on fragrantica that the yellow smells uh like an 